Well, as we welcome the legendary Russ Bray to the stage for the first time this weekend at the Happy Bet German Darts Championship, we look forward to David Pallet, the mallet, the pallet truck. Call him what you will. He hasn't got a nickname. Taking on Finland's Vejo Vinica. The first Nordic and Baltic qualifier to play on the European Tour. History in the making, albeit some rather tedious history. It's all about various bits of structure of qualifying tournaments but history nonetheless I'm Dan Dawson talking to you through this one and Chris Murphy is back in the box alongside me yeah and we've witnessed a fantastic start to this first European Tour event of 2017 already the, the performance of Paul Harvey in the last game Dan was something to behold he hit 180s in the last six legs seven in total I mean, Michael Van Gerwen hit eight the other night in a slightly longer game and everybody was going absolutely berserk about how brilliant it was. Paul Harvey is the man you want to watch. He's averaged nearly 103. Seven 180s, missed only one dart at double. Tell you what, Benito van der Pass could be in for a bit of a surprise in round two if Paul Harvey plays like that. This one is to decide who goes up against Stephen Bunting, the number 15 seed. Will it be his good mate Dave Pallet? Game on! So Pallet to face Bunting or Vinica, a man who I believe is rocking one of the strongest looks on the European Tour this weekend. It looks like he has just emerged from a cave after several months. 60. Yeah, it's kind of half Simon Whitlock. And the other half, what, take your pick. <laughs> Normal bloke. Not that Simon Whitlock's not a normal bloke. I'm going to stop talking. <laughs> Nickname stakes. What about Sultan, Dan, for uh, old Bayo Vinica? Sultan Vinica. No, I really vinegar. should stop talking. Yeah? Sultan Vinica. I quite like it. 45. Have we established that Vinica doesn't have a nickname? Um, you couldn't find one. Yeah. How is your finish? No, One no record of a nickname. No record of a nickname. There is a record of him playing at the World Championship, of course. Let's put it this way. I hope his finishing is better than my finish. 47. One thing we haven't seen for quite some time, and it was threatened in the first match, is a nine-dart finish, Dan, on the European Tour. Yeah, well, I knew you'd bring this up sooner or later, Chris, because, quite frankly... You are something of a nine-dart magnet. In the relatively brief period you've been doing these stream commentaries on the Pro Tour. They've been loads. How about this from Vidiga? One on red and 40. Well, Dave Pallet is a man who's at a nine-darter before. UK Open qualifier back in 2014. He was also part of a game, wasn't he, with Mensor Sulevic, Mr. European Tour. Uh, that was at the World Championship. Both players <laughs> missed the double. I have to say... David Pallet, he played two games at that World Championship and both of them were among the most entertaining I'd seen. He beat Kim Hybrex in a thriller. And then he played Mensa in another right thriller, as you say. Both men missing the nine dart. Now, Pallet, he loves a bullseye. Will he use it? No. He goes the conventional route. Look at this, Dave Pallet. Ooh. There was a time Nine when Dave Pallet would have gone bull, bull, bull there. Hey, Even second dart could have gone ball double top, but it was a very nice lie, wasn't it, the first one? Now will Vinica get his first leg on the board here? Looking for top. 29. Oh, that's not far away. David to require 58. Double top for Pallet. Double 10 for a break of throw. 48. They a dismissive you wave of the hand from Pallet. Vinica, another opportunity. High. Still a bit high. He's not moved. He thinks he can use it. No score. Well, he either thought he could use it or he David wanted to move all the way over to the other side. I couldn't really tell which one it was. Yeah, nervy start. No score. Oh, he'll get another shot. They owe you require faults. Well, he was worryingly close to the double three there and worryingly far away from the double one, Dave Pallet. The radar is just a bit off at the moment. 
Vinegar finds the double top. It's a scruffy Vinica. opening leg. Second leg, David will throw first. Well, I guess the advantage for him of missing above the double top was that he wasn't going to find himself in that position of having to go for double five, which Pallet did. Got himself 16. into a mess, and Vinica takes full advantage. He has been uh, appeared on televised darts before, back in the 2011 World 16. Championship, lost to Roland Scholten. Yeah, preliminary round game, wasn't it? His biggest career win, I have it on good authority, was at the Hungarian Open in 2006. He has won one of the SDC events, so a few years ago they created the Scandinavian Darts Corporation. For Norway, Sweden, Finland, I believe Denmark. As well. I'm not sure how far they've expanded it now, the SDC, but they've had a, a regular circuit there. And of course, now and that's gaining more support with the One Nordic and Baltic qualifiers for the European Tour. Vinica did win an SDC event back in 2012, beat Magnus Karras, and he beat Magnus Karras in qualifying for this as well. I also beat Per Larsen, so there's a couple of names that. You know, darts fans will have heard, will have seen a number of times. If you've never heard of Magnus Karras, then you've probably not seen darts. He's been around for about 30 years. Yeah, Lady Gaga wrote a song about him. <laughs> which, which one was that? Mm -hmm. 38. They only require 161. Trouble 20, trouble 17. First bit's done. Next bit's done. Bullseye. This is the tricky bit. One hundred and twenty. Well, he had a shot of the ball. David to require one hundred and sixty-four. Pallet. He wants treble twenty, treble eighteen. That bit's done. Oh, just underneath. One hundred and twenty. <laughs> Loves the ball, doesn't he? He does love a bullseye. They only require forty-one. Well, he got the tricky bit done, but it's a bit trickier when the leg is riding on it. Vinegar double sixteen. Still double 16 for a breaker throw and a 2 0 lead for a little bit of daylight at the start of this one. He never really gave it a chance. David to require 36. And Pallet, that bullseye means he gets three clear darts at the double. Game yeah, only needs of one. And Dave Pallet does hold David his throw. Pallet. It's a little bit Third tidier than that opening first. leg. Game but he on. had to survive a couple of darts nonetheless. Pallet, probably what you'd describe as a kind of hit and miss player on the professional tour. Um, case in point so far this year, he's made the last 16 of three of the 10 Pro Tour events. I think it's an upturn in form for Dave Pallet because if you look at his, his record, he, I spoke to him earlier, hang about. Yeah, there we go. Oh, no! 180 number one. Oh, and and it comes from Dave Pallet in this first round contest at the Happy Bet German Darts Championship. Yeah, Pallet described last year as a lot, which is probably a nice way of putting it. In the very first tournament of the year, UK Open Qualifier 1, made the quarterfinals. Never made the quarters of anything since. But he's been knocking on the door in the opening few events of this year. Seems to be playing with a bit more confidence. And if he could have you know, a run like he did on the European Tour in Austria, in Innsbruck, a few years back, when he played some really good darts. He was hitting a lot of 180s. Well, if he could put that sort of stuff together over the course of this weekend, it might just be a platform for him to go on and have a, another successful year. Because, you know, we mentioned those two games at the World Championship One where he number. beat high breaks they and then really pushed Mensal Suljevic. The darts he produced in those games were, were phenomenal. Could easily beaten Mensal in that match. And who knows what would have happened after that. Yeah, there are many, many players capable of producing such phenomenal darts, but it's a case of who can be consistent. Mm -hmm. And he's not found that yet. But can he find a fanfare finish here? He can't. 65. So Vinica will get a shot at 64, 64 to regain the lead. Seemed to be a bit of a percentage shot with the first start. Just throw it in the vicinity 24. and hope it finds one of the trebles. Didn't Daddy quite work out. Meant he only got one dart a double. Now David Pallet will get two at tops. Would be awkward. Steps across. Game shot. And that proves way. to be effective. David Pallet. Sensible shooting from Pallet. Game on. 
Yeah, not the easiest taking out 60 when you throw a dart like Pallet because he, it's not a short dart and it does stand up a bit. So it did get in the way. You could see him move over to the right-hand side, but one. very calmly just bypassed it and found his way to the bed. You see Vinica, his darts go in pretty much perpendicular to the board, a bit like sort of Phil Taylor's darts do. It's not a one dissimilar one. throw to Taylor. He actually holds it, rather as Taylor brings the dart right under his eye, Vinica brings it in the middle of his forehead like he's some sort of Finnish cyclops. I don't think he... I'm not even sure he can see the dart where he actually has it. It's above his eye line. Yeah, kind of resting on the sort of bridge. Mm. 45! Connecting his lenses together. Yeah, it's curious, isn't it? Here comes Pallet again, then looking for maximum number two. Winner! And there it is. Now, what, what is difficult in darts these days, Dan, is qualifying for these events. Mm. Um, the likes of Raymond van Barneveld, not here, not able to qualify. Pallet beat Ted Evitz, Ross Twell, and Mark Webster in qualifying. So is that a sign of his form? Now, which way will he go here? 89. I always get a feeling that, that Dave Pallet might fancy showboating a little bit at times. I was thinking, will he go tops, tops, and even with his opponent back on 312, mm. but no. I, I think he's eliminated that from his game. I mean, he used to. I remember Adrian Lewis telling me this story. We'll just break off here. Well, it, this is a bit of an accidental <laughs> showboat. Oh, lovely. Double, double. Why not? Why not? He's actually looking to put that just inside the double 16 and use it as a guide. So, look. He's not being daft, but he's actually eliminated it from his game. He, t he uh, makes the, the right choice, the sensible choice, on a much, much more regular basis. 61. But I remember Adrian Lewis telling me when he first played him, I think he Pallet tried to take out 107 going ball, seven, ball. And he missed it, and then Adrian ended up taking something like 102 going ball, two, ball, just to try and show him how it's done. Do I recall a story where Pallet tried something similar against Michael Van Gerwen? Was it 120 with two bullseyes or something like that? And, might, and then did and then Van Gogh um, did it? Van Gogh did it back to him, yeah. yeah. I mean, that, that may be part of the reason why Pallet has stopped doing it, because he keeps trying it against the big boys, perhaps, perhaps basically make them angry. One and unfortunately, the reason that they are major winners is because when you make them angry, it usually doesn't knock them out of their stride. They just tend to focus a bit more and play superbly. Well, it's a lesson that you mentioned Adrian Lewis. It's a lesson he had to learn himself. 35. Going for blind shots well, exactly, and everything yeah. in the Premier League. Quite. Yeah, it's good stuff one here. Pat has left himself 14. on a potential 11 dart leg here to break the throw. Vinegar's on 180, so he can't finish, and that doesn't help him get down to a manageable finish and apply the pressure. Be interesting to see what route Pallet goes here. Now, a lot of players will go straight at the ball. Some will go at the 20s. 20s is probably the conservative shot. 18s. Well, interesting. Double, double. 54. They only require 100. Well, that allows Vinica a poke at 135. He will start in the middle of the board. He gets right in the middle. So, treble 15. He finds the smallest target on the board with. 103. Perfect accuracy and then got Davies nowhere near the treble 15. So Pallet wants double 18 for 4 1. Wrong bed, he's going to one of these double double shots again. Davies there we go. The fifth leg. <laughs> David Pallet, six leg, David the throat first. Came on. Eliminate it, eliminate it from his game. What are you talking about? <laughs> Oh, yeah, he's had consecutive double-double finishes, but I'm pretty sure they weren't intentional. Pretty. I'm not 100% sure, but I'm pretty sure. Ultimately, though, it's 4-1. And the man who's made history by becoming the first Nordic and Baltic qualifier on the European Tour may be slipping to defeat, because that is not what he wants, as our fancy space-age scoreboard once again conks out. Are you saying that Vinica's in a, a bit of a pickle? Then? 120! How long have you been waiting since about leg one for that? What? You've got written on your arm. Just what is it? You've just got loads of vinegar puns <laughs> written on your body like memento. 60. Yeah, 
And you can see Pallet 120 points ahead. Vinica looking at maximum just to get him back to parity in this leg. Well, he's going the right way about it. 95. Couldn't follow up the first start. One hundred and thirty. 130 gets Pallet down to 91. Vinica needs a maximum to reach a finish. Anything less than that is not good enough. Oh, and he's got it, you know. It's his first one. 91 for Pallet. Oh, two darts at tops. Only needs one. And a maximum from Vinica proved to be in vain. As Pallet rubs salt into the wound. With a lovely 91 checker, but hang on. One He's looking at back to back. 180s. I think Mervyn King wants through four in a row, losing the leg in between. Well, there's one from David Pallet. Wow, wow, wow. Vinica hits a 180, Pallet takes out 91 in two darts. Vinica then fires in a 140 and for the start of the next leg, and Pallet hits him right back with a 180. It's all about taking the right shot at the right time, and even though that maximum from Vinica did apply some pressure to Pallet because it got him to a finish, Pallet just brushed it off. One hundred. And he seems to be motoring towards a place in the second round, and a match with his mate and the guy who travelled over with him, or one of the guys who travelled over with him, the bullet, former world champion, Stephen Bunting. And you mentioned he beat Ted Evitz in qualifying. He's another mate of his, uh, Super Ted, who Pallet speaks very highly of, thinks he's going to go and do great things in the game. He's not the only person to say that as well. One round of There's another man who's had a nine on the tour this year. Mm. And some decent scalps along with it. But after nine, Pallet's left 81. One hundred. For a very comfortable, very professional... Very promising. 6-1 victory. Double 18. He's got to go for it. And Dave he takes shot. it out. And Dave Pallet wins six Dave legs Pallet. on the bounce after losing the first one to his Finnish opponent. The man from Shropshire through to round two to face the bullet Stephen Bunting. We'll grab a word with him with our MC Elmar Polka. Then we're going to see our first German in action here at the German Darts Championship from Hildesheim as Stefan Stoika takes on the Bulldog, John Ball. David Pellet zieht also in die zweite Runde ein. Veo Vinica scheidet also zum Auftakt aus. Und David Pellet bekommt es damit morgen mit dem alten Freund zu tun, mit Stephen Bunting. David, congratulations. Happy with your game? Uh, yeah, very happy. Uh, I was very nervous the first couple of legs, but uh, once got into it, I was all right. Tomorrow you're going to meet a good friend of you, Stephen. <laughs> yeah, unfortunately, yeah. Uh, Is it difficult to play, friend? He's waving at me there. He's waving at me. So be careful what you say now. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's always difficult playing a good friend. Uh, me and Stephen have been great friends for years now, so... It's always horrible, but a job's a job at the end of the day. I mean, he's here to win money, I'm here to win money, so we just got to get up and save and do what we do, so... So what's, what's always the goal? European Tour event means reaching the Sunday. Is it winning the title, or with, what's, what's the goal when you came here? Well, the first goal is to qualify. Uh, it's hard enough to do that. Uh, but, no, honestly, win the first game, and then see how the draw looks, and then just try and do your best. All you can do is do your best and play as you can, so... You reached the semi-final two years ago. So let's let's see what's 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 going to happen to him. Thank you, David Pellets. As active.